Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern where you cycle between periods of eating and fasting. Now, whilst the major focus is on the time windows where you eat or fast, for example, the popular 16-8 method where you fast for 16 hours each day, and then you have an eight hour eating window, optimal intermittent fasting also includes giving consideration to the best foods to incorporate into your diet during that eating window. I'll give you an example. If you were only to focus on fasting for 16 hours and then use the eight hour eating window to eat lots of ultra processed, unhealthy foods like chips, chocolate, and soda, you're probably not going to see great results, both in terms of weight loss, but also your general health. That's why in this video, we're going to cover 10 key health food and drink groups that you should consider incorporating into your diet. So the first major food group that you should incorporate into your diet is lean protein. Now protein is vital to your overall health, immune system, and also to ensure that you maintain muscle mass and muscle is necessary to optimize blood sugar balance and keep our metabolism high. Lack of muscle can promote weight gain, higher blood sugar, and frailty. Now some great sources of lean protein include salmon, eggs, and chicken breast. Other protein sources are things like cottage cheese, plain yogurt, legumes, as well as almonds and cashew nuts and seeds like pumpkin seeds. Now, if you're considering using protein powder, it's worth reviewing it to make sure there is no added sugar. Personally, I wouldn't use protein powder because it's ultra processed. And if you've got a well-balanced diet, you'll be able to get your protein requirements from natural food sources, such as the ones that I've mentioned previously. The second food group are healthy fats. Now, healthy fat is crucial to optimal health. However, many people have got a fear of fat, but they shouldn't. Healthy fat is necessary for cellular health, energy, hormone production, as well as insulation to keep us warm and protection for our organs. Adding good fats to the diet is required to metabolize fat-soluble nutrients, such as vitamin D, or even herbs and spices, such as turmeric. Now, sources of healthy fat include things like olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, avocados, chia seeds, flax seeds, as well as olives. The third food group are fish and seafood. Now, seafood of any type is an excellent choice during your feeding window. Fish, such as wild-caught salmon or sardines, are very high not only in protein, but they're also rich in omega-3 fats. These are necessary for optimal health as well as to reduce cellular inflammation. Now, fish and seafood to integrate into your diet during intermittent fasting are things like wild-caught salmon, rainbow trout, mackerel, sardines, anchovies, mussels, lobster, and shrimp. Now, the fourth food group that you must integrate into your diet are vegetables. Vegetables are vital to optimal health, and adding them to your diet whilst intermittent fasting is an excellent strategy. Now, nutrient-rich vegetables to eat whilst intermittent fasting include things like spinach, kale, broccoli, cauliflower, as well as Brussels sprouts. You might also want to try things like cabbage and celery, as well as asparagus. Now, the fifth food group to incorporate into your eating window are fruits. Now, fruit can be a welcome source of nutrient-rich food whilst intermittent fasting. However, choosing low or medium sugar fruits is important because an excess amount of fruit sugar or fructose can promote metabolic health issues and undo many of the benefits accrued whilst fasting. But the best fruits to choose for intermittent fasting are things like raspberries, blackberries, kiwi, grapefruit, apples, you could consider strawberries in moderation, as well as lemons and limes, so the citrus fruits, as well as avocado and tomatoes. The sixth food group that you should consider are whole grains. Now, whole grains are a unique type of food in that for many people, they have no increased blood sugar response, inflammation, or gut distress. But for other people, they have all of the aforementioned maladies. Now, if you are one of the people who can't tolerate grains, so for example, you have celiac disease and you can't tolerate wheat, you should leave them off your shopping list. And remember to avoid all refined foods, including grains such as white flour. Now, healthy whole grains that help to optimize intermittent fasting are things like oat meal, millet, quinoa, as well as brown rice. At number seven, we've got legumes and beans. Now, beans and legumes are excellent choices for your intermittent strategy meal planning. Now, they are often disregarded, but they are true powerhouses that are packed with fiber, protein, as well as essential vitamins and minerals. And they help to balance blood sugar, keep hunger and cravings at bay, as well as reduce LDL cholesterol and promote gut health, which is crucial for overall good health. Now, in terms of the beans and legumes that you could consider, things like black beans, chickpeas, green beans, lentils, and kidney beans would all be excellent choices. 
The eighth food group that you should consider are herbs and spices, because they have a potent, powerful anti-inflammatory impact upon our health, as well as being delicious, and they can help make some of the more bland foods that I've mentioned taste a little bit better. And that's going to be crucial to keep you motivated to continue on this strategy. Now, top herbs and spices include things like turmeric, ginger, rosemary, cinnamon, and sage. The ninth food group are probiotics. Now, foods rich in probiotics are things like kefir, sauerkraut, and kimchi. Probiotics are thought to help restore the natural balance of bacteria in your gut, including in your stomach and intestines, when it's been disrupted by an illness or treatment. And there's some evidence that probiotics may be helpful in cases of irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. Now, the final important group are drinks. A good rule to remember is that anything with calories is likely to break your fast. So things like soda, juice, or coffee and tea with any type of milk, creamer, or sweetener should be avoided during the fasting window. However, you can have water and unsweetened coffee or tea without milk or creamer. In fact, coffee and tea, especially green tea, can help boost the benefits of intermittent fasting. The best drinks to consider are things like black coffee, herbal teas, green teas, as well as water. If you've got any top tips you want to share on particular foods that you found very beneficial, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section, and I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and please check out the other videos on intermittent fasting on this channel if you'd like to know more about it.